This summit will give the thousands of teachers all around the world a chance to have their voice heard on COVID-19. We are very fortunate to be joined by four winners of the Global Teacher Prize. You know, when we come together, all of you can agree with me that great things happen. And uh, there is uh, a, a great digital divide across the world, like where I come from, my students don't have access to these uh, online tools. For the first day that uh, the case of emergency we uh, was uh, declared, uh, declared in Palestine, Palestinian teachers unleashed their creativity with the goal of maintaining contact with students. So um, the more creative we can be as, as practitioners, the more creative we can get our young people to be, I think that will really go a long way in helping um, solve the mental health issues and just to bring that joy of, and love of learning back into our young people's lives. And how are we making conscious decisions to really ensure that we're allowing for creativity and self-expression, which we know are amazing tools to help help kids self-regulate, considering all the stress that they've been going through. It's a big pleasure and honor to be with you today. We're talking about what's at the heart of well-being for teachers. The relationship with the kids feeds us, and this has been challenged by COVID, and it will be challenged on return. Thank you.